What's up, Buck fans? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanted to go over in big number 91, Greg Gaines, the newest addition from, from the LA Rams to your Tampa Bay Buccaneers. What is he? What is he going to be used for? How is he going to benefit this defense? The biggest thing I can say about him, he's a, a workman. I mean, he's not going to be the guy like Aaron Donald over here, just splash plays, flashy, huge numbers, huge production. What he's going to mainly do is be the worker, the hard worker, stout at the point of attack, anchor, great in the run game. But let's break it down, and I'll show you more of what I'm talking about. Here, I want to show some of his sacks that he got. I show it first against the Saints because as a Buck fan, I think everyone hates the Saints. And here it is, throwing them down, getting all happy, excited. I did it. But what did he do? How did he win? He's got some quick twitch to him. I mean, look where he's starting off at. One side of the center, and then he jumps over to the other, swims right on over. And the guy doesn't even can't even get his hands on him. So he's not just a slow, big, sloppy type of guy. He's got some twitch to him. He's just not the biggest guy. 6'1", 3'12", they have him listed at. But his game, low man wins. I mean, look how he's kind of turning this corner, getting down, getting low, getting upfield. You're not going to see consistently winning like this, but it's good to see it when it's against the Saints. And if he's in the NFC South, I want to see more of it. And now when I talk about a workman, the big splash play is by who? Mr. Aaron Donald splashing. Everyone starts losing their, their assignment because they're all worried about him. And who ends up coming over, still involved in the play, doing what he's supposed to be doing? Mr. Big Greg Gaines over here, 91, bringing him down, not letting him get a first down, no rushing yards moving forward. That goes down as a sack while being held by the other guy. So... Good job, Greg Gaines. We keep moving. And I still love that he was on the Washington line with and or not and with Vita Vea. That was just it's gonna be that awesome Washington connection with him, Joe Tryon, Sharenka, and Vita Vea. But more more hustle. Like I was saying, a workman attitude. He just stays with the play. Look at all the stuff that's going on. All this window dressing. Oh, play's going this way. No, it's going this way. Where is it going? He's just following the ball, doing his job. Location, location. He's the only one that knows where it's at. Look at him. He's the only guy that knows where it's at. And what does he do? He ends up getting a sack because his eyes were they need to be. They're not being played somewhere else. I like it. And here's the good stuff again. More just drive, bulldozing that pocket. Something where only Vita Vea has done this on our team so far. Being able to get that nose pressure and push that center back into the pocket of the quarterback. He's right there to get in on Aaron Rodgers. But again, Aaron Rodgers is one of the best quarterbacks in the game. Still pinpoint accuracy, delivers a good ball. Again, over the nose, right over the center, just getting upfield, getting that pressure, and just driving guys back. He just barely misses out on getting a, a hit on Aaron Rodgers here again, but Aaron Rodgers is Aaron Rodgers. So if you can get pressure consistently to go along with Vita Vea, I mean, I'll take that. I'm not looking for an elite sack artist. I'm just looking for pressure. And again, jumping inside zones right here, finding that little open gap, getting low, like I was saying, getting his shoulder down, bouncing off of other offensive lining holding himself up he doesn't fall often and that's usually something you see with like slower non-athletic defensive linemen they fall they trip over other people's feet he's just consistent in what he does and if you're like i was saying if you're looking for a quick pass rusher that ain't it this is where he's going to excel at the most i put this one on twitter if you guys follow us on twitter catch it out there first because we're going to put most of our content first but look how quick he gets into this gap holds up the line and just erases this run. I mean, immediately right there in the face of the ball carrier. Receivers trying to, or tight ends trying to chip over here as well, kind of dragging over to try and get him out of the way. Does not work at all. And right there, Greg Gaines coming down. You're, you're coming down with me. The whole team kind of falls with it. So it's him working in unison with the team. I mean, it's going to benefit everyone else behind him, like Levante David, thankfully signed back. Devin White. It's the fact that he can hold people up and make gaps and jobs for everyone behind him a lot easier. I mean, there are gaps here for other people to hold, to fill in. Bobby Wagner's probably going to fill that one. But just the ability to hold him up with one arm right there. Stout, low man wins, right? Right there. And then still to be able to shed onto the other arm and get in on the tackle. A lot of hustle stuff, a lot of just knowing your assignment and doing the right job. We're not looking for Superman. Again, check him out here. Stout. Low man wins, get his feet in the ground, extend those arms up, and then let me shed this guy away to get in on the tackle. And you don't need, necessarily need to make the play. I just want you to benefit the guys around you. Benefit Vita Vea next to you. Benefit uh, Shaq Barrett if he comes back healthy. JTS on the outside. I'm looking for how he's going to benefit everyone else around him, not just him making 
splash plays. And I think that's where people see he only had four sacks, four and a half sacks. It's not really a big uh, numbers game, but it doesn't matter. Look at the stuff he's doing, the dirty work that's helping everyone else out, holding up the line, extending that one arm. Okay, guy, you're just going to walk into me because you have nowhere else to go. I did my job. I like it. Benefit everyone else around you. Don't worry about necessarily what you can do to better your numbers. I'm looking at what you can do to better the team. Look, two guys trying to break down, break them down. Nope. Standing stout and fills that gap where the guy thinks he's going to have a big gainer. Nope. Greg Gaines is right there to slow it up while being tackled by two offensive linemen. Keep going down the line. Again, try to double him again. Doesn't work yet again. Two guys kind of push him down the line. Does he go with the line? No. He's seeing where the ball carrier is at. Gets skinny somehow. <laughs> Swims over the center and just gets in on the running back right here. A lot of good stuff. They like to see very consistent player, especially in the run game. Don't expect too much from the pass game. I'm saying you're going to find some alleyways where Levante David and Devin White are going to have an easy, easy job, and they're going to really love Greg Gaines for the ability that he brings to this Buccaneer football team. Guys, let me know down below what you think of Greg Gaines. Is he going to be a good fit? That Washington connection, do you like that? Or do you think this is a waste of money? Like, Let me know down below what you think. And with that said, until the next one.